welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to share with you this milk carton organizer that I created uh, using Frank Garcia's Dolce collection and a whole bunch of fabulous trims and goodies from Natasha Scrapbook Corner. So I created this organizer um, knowing that I was going to use it on my own desk. This is not for a swap. It's not gifting. Although I probably will make a couple more of these. I think they would be an awesome um, treat container, uh, maybe for a birthday gift or a swap or something like that. But um, the the milk cartons all fit. They're they're about two and a half inches wide by two and a half inches. Um, in height as well. But they go inside an organizer that measures just five inches. And I created the organizer so that it's about an inch and a quarter tall. So you can see a lot of the gorgeous paper that I used on these milk cartons. And I just wanted to do a really simple closure because once again, I will be using these. Um, I'm gonna put them on my desk so it can hold maybe some paper clips, binder clips, that kind of thing. As soon as I saw the Dolce collection, I knew that I was going to be using it to make um, a lot of, of personal things for myself because I really, really like the colors. They go fabulously with my craft room and I've, I've been doing a little redecorating in it. So this is an organizer that I made for myself. But like I said, I really didn't do much to them because I knew that I was actually going to be using them. So I left the outside of it plain per se. Um, I may go through and add maybe some ribbon to the binder clips that I use to close them, but the paper is fabulous enough on its own that you don't really need a whole lot of work. So I'm just going to talk about the, um, the holder that I created for it. And you can kind of see it a little more like that, but as I had said, the organizer measures five inches by five inches and then a an inch and a quarter tall. I used trim from Natasha Scrapbook Corner. You can see the trim a little more when I do a 360 degree view of it. But I used the, this trim measures just over or just add an inch, I believe. And I, I wanted to make sure that I had a scallop running through the top. You might be able to see it a little bit better if I take the milk cartons out. But I wanted, I wanted you to be able to see the scallop over the top. Um, and then I covered it once again, once I had that glued down. I covered it with a pink crochet trim as well. And this is a really dainty trim. It only measures about an inch and a quarter tall. But the most, most of the decorating I kept towards the front. Uh, because it's such a shallow box, I didn't want to add too much around there so that when I'm taking the milk cartons in and out that it would snag. So I just left all of the decoration on this front here. Um, I cut this out with my Cricut. It's 110 pound cardstock that I layered with some of the pattern paper from Dolce on top. And then I used one of these amazing butterflies and I'm down to like my last one. I, I've been using a lot of these on my projects. Um, but I used one of the crocheted butterflies in the background. I cut Bliss out uh, with my, my Sizzix. Um, it's a high day swap die that I've had for a long time and I cut it three different times. I've, I first cut it with the mint paper that I used for the front and then I cut it again with uh, some foam to give it a little lift and then I made another uh, just regular white, white heavy 110 pound cardstock for the base of it too just so that I didn't have to put the foam directly like glue glue directly to the foam so the foam is sandwiched in between two different really heavy cardstocks uh this is a flower from the collection as well but this is one of the tiny uh roses in peppermint and then one of the small white roses 
uh, from Natasha Scrapbook Corner. This is a flower that I made myself from Fulmarin that I had in my collection that I just kind of wanted to use as background here. Same thing with this. This is from uh, the collection as well. And I just used it as, as background because I needed something that I could glue this wooden embellishment right here to. It was going to be hard for me to just glue it to the bliss because it was such a thin area. So I used this pink uh, flower is an anchor so I could glue this on and the wooden um, butterfly here has printed on one side and if you it looks like it's just like maybe an ink or a stamp or something but if you get close you can see that it's fabric decoupaged to the top of the butterfly and I bought those like that and if you look on the other side it's just the regular wood but either side would be really pretty, and it just kind of gives you a little more mi mileage out of these um, wooden butterfly embellishments. So that's it. Uh, it's just four little milk cartons inside this little tray. Once again, I think it'll make a really, really cute um, holder that I can put a lot of stuff in. You'd be surprised at what fits in these. I know um, one of these is probably going to hold um, some paper clips, like full size paper clips, because they're tall enough that they you could just set them up like right side up inside one of these milk cartons. But thank you for watching. Uh, check back, I'm gonna have one more project for this month uh, for Natasha Scrapbook Corner. Uh, check back in a few days and see what I create. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Of course, head over to the store and check out some of her fabulous goodies. I will link everything down below. Bye! Bye.